Iran is promising retribution for the assassination of the political leader of Hamas, who was killed in Tehran. The militant group says Israel is responsible for the attack on Ismail Haniyeh in the Iranian capital after he attended the inauguration of the country's new president. Iran's Revolutionary Guard says an airborne projectile was used in the strike. Iran's supreme leader and the government are vowing to avenge his death. The Iranian response will be very harsh and very severe. I expect it to be more severe than when the Israeli regime bombed the Iranian consulate in Syria. Uh, Ismail Haniyeh was a hero uh, to the Iranian people, to Iranian politicians, to uh, senior government officials. Well, Israel is not commenting on the killing, but it had stated the total elimination of Hamas is one of its main goals following the deadly rampage by Palestinian militants in southern Israel last October, which has sparked the war in Gaza. Well, days after making his address to the US Congress, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his forces will exact a heavy price for any further aggression against his country. <laughs> Since the beginning of the war, I have made clear that we are in a fight against Iran's axis of evil. This is a war against a stranglehold of terrorist armies and missiles that Iran wants to tighten around our necks. In my speech to Congress a few days ago, I mentioned three main branches of this axis of evil. Hamas, Houthis and Hezbollah, the three H's. In the last few days, we have dealt crushing blows to each of them. Well, while Israel has been engaged in its war with Hamas in Gaza, tit-for-tat attacks have been taking place on its northern border with Lebanon. Ismail Haniyeh's murder in Iran happened less than 24 hours after Hezbollah's most senior commander, Fouad Shakur, was killed in an Israeli strike in Beirut. That was in retaliation for a deadly rocket attack on a sporting field in the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights. Israel blamed Hezbollah for the attack, which killed 12 children. The group has denied responsibility. There are calls for all sides to show restraint. We call on all actors to use maximum restraint. The logic of reciprocal retaliatory acts is the wrong path. And what's most important now is to keep a cool head and to react with a cool head. Because the very tense situation in the Middle East must not further escalate in the interests of the people there. Anti-Israel and pro-Palestinian rallies have taken place in several countries after Ismail Haniyeh's killing. Hamas has promised to continue the path it was following in the Gaza war. But the deaths of two top figures of Iranian-backed groups will complicate Gaza ceasefire negotiations and any prospect of a hostage release deal. That's because Ismail Haniyeh had been overseeing the peace talks for Hamas in Qatar. The killing of Hania, I think, it certainly compromises uh, those uh, negotiations for the time being. Uh, so, you know, we're back into a, a period of uh, deep um, uh, tension and uncertainty. Uh, and I think the next few days, we will see how things play out. I don't see any meaningful long, long um, standing solution on the horizon because it looks like um, the Israeli leadership is trying to address its broader security challenges across the region vis-a-vis -vis Iran um, and is choosing to not prioritize uh, ending the Gaza war and securing the release of its hostages.